In lesson four of module two, students use what they learn in lesson three and springboard on that for a little more complex um, version of it. Lesson three, you divided fractions with common denominators. So for example, Molly purchased 11 eighths cup of strawberries. She ate two eighths in a serving. How many servings did Molly purchase? Okay. Use the model. So this is 11 eighths divided by 2 eighths. Okay. This model is kind of interesting to draw. Okay. Because a whole is made of eight parts and you have 11. So the students and I spent some time today talking. That's 1 eighth, 2 eighths, 3 eighths, 4 eighths, 5 eighths, 6 eighths, 7 eighths, 8 eighths. Students and I spent some time talking about why they couldn't add three more pieces here to get 9, 10, 11, because that would just change this to 11, okay? If there are eight pieces in a hole, okay, we have to make a whole nother hole of eights to get 11 eights. So that's 1 eighth, 2 eighths, 3 eighths, 4 eighths, 5 eighths, 6 eighths, 7 eighths, 8 eighths, 9 eighths, 10 eighths, 11 eighths. Okay, that was a great, great conversation. And we are trying to see how many groups of 2 eighths fit into 11 eighths. So there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 full groups of 2 eighths. And there is one left over out of the groups of 2 that we're looking for. Okay, 5 and 1 eighth is going to be your answer. I'm really encouraging students, once the denominators are the same, to circle their numerators. We're really taking 11 and dividing it by 2. 2 fits into 11 five times. And there is going to be one left over out of the 2 that you're looking for, 5 and 1 eighth. So we, this lesson goes and makes that theory a little bit trickier, okay? Now imagine that Z Molly's friend Xavier purchased 11 eighths cups of strawberries and that he eats three fourths cup servings. How many servings has he, has he purchased? Use a model to prove your answer. Okay, so there's 11 eighths cup. Okay, he eats three fourths of a cup serving. Okay, so again, when I'm drawing my 11 eighths, Okay, I am going to color 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 eighths, 9, 10, 11 eighths. Now, the students want to divide that into three fourths groups. Okay, this is hard, okay, because our second unit doesn't match our eighths. Okay, very easy solution. Make it an equivalent fraction change it, okay? Scale this person up, scale this fraction up to have 8 in the denominator. 4 times 2 gives you 8. Whatever you do to the bottom of a fraction, you must do to the top. Okay, so we're changing that to 6 eighths. I don't love how I wrote that because it looks like 11 eighths divided by 3 4 eighths is 6 eighths. So let me do a better job of modeling excellent mathematics for you. I'm going to take 3 fourths to the side. I'm going to change it to an eighth by scaling it up, and I'm going to rewrite my problem. My new problem is 11 eighths divided by 6 eighths. Okay, I'm really trying to figure out how many groups of 6 fit into 11. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There's one group. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 are left over, so there's not enough to make another group of 6. There is one full group of six with five left over out of the groups of six that we're looking for. So the answer should be one and five, six. Let me prove that by taking 11 and dividing it by six. Six fits into 11 one whole time, and there's five left over, one and five, six. Let's try one more, just in case, okay? We are taking three-fourths and dividing it by two-thirds, okay? 
I was going to draw three fourths, here's what it would look like. Okay, and I want to divide it into two thirds. Okay, I'm going to tell my students right away, abort, like just get rid of this model. You don't have to do it. Three fourths divided by two thirds. Let's make these have a common denominator. Okay, and this is where um, you can see if they have what they multiply to first or the LCM. If you multiplied four out, four times one is four, four times two is eight, four times three is twelve, three times one is three, three times two is six, three times three is nine, three times four is twelve. 12 is going to be their very first common multiple. So I'm going to take 3 fourths and scale it up to have 12 in the denominator. I'm going to take 2 thirds and I'm going to scale it up to have 12 in the denominator. And now I'm going to redo my whole, my whole model. I am going to draw 12. Okay, and I am going to shade, this is the same as 9 twelfths divided by 8 twelfths. So I'm going to shade 9 of my boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I'm going to see how many groups of 8 fit equally into 9. only one whole group and there's one piece left over out of the groups of eight that I'm looking for. So the answer is one and one eighth. And again, I'm encouraging my students, look at the numerators once the denominators are the same, nine divided by eight. Eight goes into nine once and there's one left over out of the eight you're looking for. I hope that this was a great glimpse of what we're doing with Lesson 4. Have a great night.